you say you want commitment from him. And what I'm trying to say to you is when people show you who they are, believe them. If you want to be single, then just be single. And if you want to be in a committed relationship, choose someone who's not going to cheat. Here is today's case. I know it sounds crazy. I just fell in love with him after our first conversation. The modern day Romeo. So he was a modern day Romeo online, but you're saying in real life he's a Casanova. This man has two babies on me. Not one, but two. Beyond, I'm a sex addict, I gotta admit it. I think that's part of my problem. It's so he's gonna be surprise after surprise. The hit's just gonna keep coming. Court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Faith Jenkins presiding. Your Honor, as you know, for the first time on Divorce Court, we have a virtual audience, and it's filled with your super fans. Today's super fan of the day is Daniela from Atlanta, Georgia. Daniela, welcome to Divorce Court. We're so happy to have you with us. Your Honor, today's case is White versus Brown. Thank you, Juan. Miss China White. Yes, Your Honor. You have brought Mr. Treshawn Brown. Yes, Your Honor. To court today. The two of you have been in a relationship for four years. You are ready to get married. Yes, You said if he doesn't commit and set a wedding date soon, this relationship is off. It is. And you are here to discuss it in divorce court today. Yes, I understand, sir, you are wearing a head covering. Normally, we don't allow that in divorce court, but it's for religious reasons. Yes, ma'am. And I understand that, and I appreciate you for letting us know. Yes, Your Honor. Well, I'll start with you, Ms. White. Why don't you give me some background? I'm here today because Treshawn is a cheater. He has multiple women all over the city. He doesn't want to marry me. It's like he's making me wait for I don't know what. I, I'm, I'm getting older, and I have no time left in me. And I'm just tired. I'm tired of all the games. So he's a cheater, but you still want to get married? I do. So I you're love trying to figure man. that out? Yes, ma'am. Why don't you give me some background, sir? I mean, Is you it know, true what she says yes, about you? I, I mean, I must admit I am a cheater, but I look at it more so that I have a problem, and we also have problems that cause for me to cheat. I'm not saying that it's right. I never lie or deny. I just promise to make it better. You promise to make it better? Yes, ma'am. Okay, well, let's see if we can do that today. Now, Ms. White, you have some stories. Yes, ma'am, I do. About some things that you've been through. Yes. And I understand the two of you don't have children together, but how, how did you meet four years ago? Well, we met on a dating site, Plenty of Fish. Mm. Yes, We've ma'am. We've heard of that. And one day, I was just scrolling through my many pages, and I seen what I wanted, and I jumped right into his DMs, like, what's up? What are you doing? How you doing? And we just <laughs> went from there. So you approached him first? Yes. And what'd you think about that, sir? I mean, I was intrigued. I mean, I loved it. I love when women come on to me first. It make my job easier. I ain't gotta do all the work. Okay, and so, so what happened after you slid into his DMs, as you said? Slid into the DMs, we jumped right into our relationship um, head first. Um, he moved immediately in, <laughs> and we've been together ever since. He moved immediately in where? Your home? Into my home, yes, ma'am. When you say immediately, how quickly did that happen? Our date was like three days after we met on Plenty of Fish. And then from there on is bring all your stuff over, babe. So he moved in after one date? Basically, yes, ma'am. Why so quickly? I know it sounds crazy. I just fell in love with him after our first conversation. What did he say during that conversation to cause you to fall in love, ma'am? He said a lot. He was like the modern-day Romeo online, you know? He was just telling me how he's ready to settle down. He wants a family, a relationship, and that's where I was in my mind, you know? So he was a modern-day Romeo online, but you're saying in real life he's a Casanova? Yes. Tell me about what, what's happened, what's been going on since Romeo moved in. This man has two babies on me. Not one, but two. The first child, I didn't find out about until she, she was probably three months. And that was through Treshawn. What happened? Um, I guess the burden of not telling me got too heavy on him and he decided to just come on out with it. One day, we were just sitting at home, and he was like, baby, I have something to tell you. Um, I love you. I don't want this to affect what we have. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, okay, tell me what was going on, because I, kn I know there's other women. I'm not a fool. I'm just making sure, you know... You know there's other women, but you're not a fool? You say that in the same sentence? Well... <sighs> right. That sounds crazy, right? 
I'm a fool for him. He was like, baby, I don't want this to affect what we have, and I love you. Like, he showed no remorse, no type of, you know, care in the world. And, you know, I was upset. I was emotional because on my end, you're telling me you're good on the kids, you know? I never told you So that. how long, how long into the relationship did this happen, Miss White? How long after Romeo moved in? Like two years. Two years in? Yes, ma'am. So, Mr. Brown? Yes, ma'am. You decided to tell her three months after your child was born. Yes, ma'am. See, the thing about it, I wasn't remorseful at all. I was a bit excited. Because China, she can't give me kids. She, I mean, she doesn't want kids. She came into the relationship with her tube tied. And I understood that, but I also wanted kids at the end of the day. So, so. this was a planned pregnancy with no, someone No, no, no. Not at all. I didn't plan it at all. It's kind of, you know, I'm just, I'm a, I'm a serial cheater. I'm a serial cheater, Yana. I admit it. I was out doing my thing, my regular cheating thing, and I end up having a baby. You know, most men to be upset about the situation, but I was excited because I wanted kids at the time. That was my first child. And I always stressed that to her, I wanted kids. She never... So why be in a relationship with someone who you know already can't have children? I mean, I mean, I love the girl. So you want to be in a relationship with someone who you say can't have children but cheat on the side. And if somebody ends up getting pregnant, oh well. Yes, ma'am. That's just That's life. That's how I look at it. Yes, Say la vie. Let me ask you this. So he is saying that he wants kids and he's a serial cheater. If he ends up getting somebody else pregnant, so be it. This sounds like a good husband to you? So the two of you decide to reconcile, you go forward in the relationship. What happens next? He brings home baby number two. You're just trying to defend your behavior. You know you're wrong. Am you know I, you're in a relationship. Am I wrong? Ms. White, I need you to listen to everything that's taking place in court today. And when you leave, get the tape. I just, I don't know. I, I just want to be with him. I love this man. I feel like he could change. Okay. Mm -hmm. There's, there's, you know, he's still young. There's a few years between us. Well, let's see how much he's changed over the course of the last two years. Okay. Because, so, you have a child. Yes, ma'am. You say you're excited about it. Yes, you have no regrets. The two of you work it out. Yes, because you're concerned about your relationship yes, at that point, right? Yes, ma'am. So, you a go bit. on. A bit. A little bit. Yes, ma'am. Not much. Not much. Okay. Miss White, I need you to listen to everything that's taking place in court today. And when you leave, get the tape. Yes, ma'am. So, now, you have your first child. Yes, ma'am. Let's go back. So, the two of you decide to reconcile. You go forward in the relationship. And what happens next? He brings home baby number two. Mm. And it wasn't... How'd you find out about this child? <sighs> How I found out, me and a homegirl, we went out to a club. Two other women approach us. She looks at me, she was like, do you know a Trayshawn? Yeah, that's my man. What's up, you know? She was like, well, my friend is, is pregnant by him, about to have a baby. So I'm like, I'm shocked, I'm angry, but everything was hit me slowly, like, this man has really brought another baby in, and he's probably somewhere, God knows where, dealing with another woman. Well, he said he changed. First time he told you, this time he didn't. You had to find out on your own. Yes, ma'am. So, that's the change that happened this time around. So, what happened, sir? Um... Why didn't you tell her the second time? Since you're so happy, you, you want to have kids... I wasn't trying to lose my relationship. No regrets. Time, I wasn't trying to lose my relationship. That's why I kept that... Really? ...pretty much a secret. I, I regret keeping that a secret. I do, but... So this time you had regrets. The first time you didn't. Kinda, I, I kinda had regrets, but at the same time I was still excited. I was still excited mm -hmm. because at the same time I want kids. I want kids. I want four or five kids, Yana. If China can't give me that, then that's between China and me. But I'm still gonna have my kids with or without China. So, ma'am, you got three or four more times to go through this. Are you ready for that? No, I'm not ready for that. Well, that's I don't that, want that's to what he's telling you. When somebody tells you, that's where we're headed. When somebody tells you who they are, you gotta start believing them. Yes, ma'am. He said he wants four or five children. He has two. And with my two, we have four. It's, it's quite the modern-day Brady Bunch, no, if I, you ask me. I want me. my own kids. I want my own kids. Kids I Ms. can White, call my own. You understand what he's saying? Mm -hmm. I, I do. But just with, with baby number two, it was so messy. It was like the girl, she followed me on Instagram. I didn't know that, that they were intertwined or what have you. Yeah, and I'm a sex addict. I gotta admit it. I think that's 
part of my problem. I'm a serial cheater. You, you have a lot of excuses. Yes. That part, I'm not, I understand. That's not an excuse. Well, well, sir, because you told me before that you're just out, you're a serial cheater, you want to have four or five more kids, and then five minutes later you tell me this is all happening because you're a sex addict. Yes, ma'am. So, what all I say to you is, apart. when I hear multiple excuses over the course of five minutes, you know what it sounds like to me? They're just excuses. You're just trying to defend your behavior. No, ma'am. Because you know you're wrong. You Am know I? you're in a relationship. Am I wrong? Yeah, because you're hiding it. She's saying that this is a breach of your commitment. Are we committed? Are we committed? We are committed. Am I wrong in the eyes of the Lord? Or am I wrong in the eyes of the court? Neither, right? Are you wrong in the eyes of your own life? Maybe. If you'd like your case to be heard on Divorce Court, call us toll-free 1-877-311-2222 or log on to our website at divorcecourt.com. Miss the show? Watch full episodes on our streaming platforms and follow us on social media for exclusive content. If you weren't wrong, you wouldn't be hiding it. We're not married, Yana. Am I wrong in the eyes of the Lord or am I wrong in the eyes of the court? Neither, right? Are you wrong in the eyes of your own life? Mm -hmm. Maybe. Let's just draw the line there. Before we get to the court and before we get to the Lord, let's talk about you. Yes, ma'am. Because if you think you're right about what you're doing and you're so proud and you're so happy, you wouldn't have to hide any of it. You wouldn't have to sneak around. Yes, ma'am. She had to find out because another woman approaches her and this was after the baby's born. Because according to you, this woman approaches you while you're out, tells you that your boyfriend has another woman pregnant, and she's posting pictures. So when you approach Mr. Brown about this second child, what yes. does he say to you? I'm sorry. Oh, no, I he, didn't, he didn't apologize because he just told me a court today that apologize. he's not wrong. Oh. I didn't he apologize. He apologized for everything. I it's, did it's, not it's apologize. It's always a sorry case. And then he, he tries to... What are you the... apologizing for if you didn't do anything I didn't wrong? apologize. I never lied he's, or denied. He tries to just be promised this... to try to make so it So you're better. saying you did not apologize. What, what are you making better if you're doing nothing wrong? I mean, How are you making it better? By paying the bills and things. Okay. Ma'am, I have proof of the DMs. I don't care about that. I really don't. Like, you, you have two children yes, outside of your relationship. W why are we concerned about DMs at this I point? I mean, my children right. are a blessing, y'all, and I consider my children a blessing. I, I so. think that's wonderful that you do. Right. But y your girlfriend is upset because she's saying that this is a breach of your commitment. You don't think it's a breach of commitment in your relationship? Are we committed? Are we committed? We no. are committed. Ma'am? Sir? You don't know if you're committed or not? We're not married, Yana. Okay. I didn't sign no type of committal agreement. I never put any type of ring on her finger. I mean, we're together. We love each other. We stay in the same house, but I more look at it like we have an open relationship. She doesn't want to, you know, look at that, but I say we have an open relationship. I'm Aunt free to do whatever so I want to do. That's interesting. So the two of you have very different beliefs about what this relationship is. Yes, ma'am. So you're telling me that all of this time, you've been operating under the guise of this is an open relationship. So you have nothing to hide. You have nothing to nothing apologize for. I don't delete for. anything. I don't hide okay. anything. That's how she able to go through my phone and find information. It's not hidden. You know, if I was trying to be sneaky, I would be deleting everything. I know how to do that very well. Before I go back to the beginning of why we're here in yes, court today, I want to ask you about something you described in your papers that happened on your birthday. Yes, ma'am. What happened? Okay, so my birthday is day after Valentine's Day on the 15th. I go home, I make an extravagant dinner. I'm a great cook. I have the You're candles okay. out. Hold on. You see this ungrateful. I have the candles out, the rose petals, my hair is done. I didn't spend all this money on my hair, my outfits. I'm thinking we're gonna have a lovely night. He never shows. At all. Valentine's Day. So I'm like, you're not at work. You're, what's, what's going on? You know what I mean? So he ends up showing up the next day on my birthday, late afternoon. Where were you? I was with another woman, y'all, and I'm going to be honest with you. Cheating. On Valentine's Day? Yes, ma'am. Cheating. Okay. Well, I've heard I enough. have the evidence. I have proof. I submitted proof to the court. I love you so much. Hope I made you feel better. Oh, my Response, yes, my heart is so warm right now. I love you so much. I love you more, Trey. Who is this a photo of? That's him. Sleep. She's taking pictures of him in his sleep. I These miss you. These are all messages with another woman? Okay, I've seen enough. I don't deny that. That is me.
Ms. White, on the one hand, you are condemning Mr. Brown's behavior. On the other hand, you are desperately clinging to him in this relationship. Make it make sense. I love this man. Mm -hmm. So then, Ms. White, you love him the way he is. He said he is a serial cheater. He said he may have a sex addiction. He has told you all of these things. He says he has nothing to hide. He wants more children. He is willing to do that outside of this relationship. You say you want something completely different, but then you say you want him. You can't have both. So which one do you choose today in divorce court? I love my Mr. Wrong. I mean... <sighs> So, Ms. White, that, I, I that, want that to choose the choice happiness, but I want to be happy with him. I want to grow old with him. I don't see myself with anyone else. So, Ms. White, you're going to grow old with him and all of his children that he's planning to have outside of this relationship and all of his women. So, it's going to be you, Mr. Brown, and his entourage. Entourage, right. Yana. So, that's what I said. I did not stutter. <laughs> that is what I said. Wow. You want to get married, you're pressing. You say he's put off the wedding date three, three four times. times. Three times. So you're pressed. What is the prize? What are you winning? What are you getting I'm out not, of this? I'm not getting anything out of it. It's just I'm, uh, I'm wasting time. I'm growing older. It's like I don't want to go back and have to relearn anyone else, get to know anyone else. It's what like... does it say about you, Miss White, that you are absolutely committed to loving someone who treats you like this. What does it say about you? It's, it, seem, it seems like I have low self-esteem, but I really don't. You it's do. just... Mm -hmm. You really do, because the bar has been set very low. You came to court today because somehow I think you wanted me to objectively listen to what the two of you had to say and, and, and try to convince him to do something different. There are no consequences. <clears throat> for what Mr. Brown does in this relationship that you say is wrong. So if there are no consequences, of course he's never gonna change. He's never gonna do anything different because he knows he can keep going right back to you and you will keep taking him back just as he is. So you have set the bar very low. Why? Because he pays a couple of bills? Yeah, and I have a confession. Since we're showing evidence, I, I submitted my own evidence. I got something I wanna clear up with China been wearing on me for a few years now. I just want to get it off my chest. You, something else besides two other children? Yes, ma'am. Another baby. Can we see my evidence, Yana? What is this, sir? That tattoo right there, that's a tattoo. China believe that's my grandma's middle name that passed away. But that was a relationship that got too serious. <laughs> and I ended up tatting it on my face. I apologize. I'm sorry for doing that. I just wanted to clear that up so we can move forward about that situation. Demon time. This is what I call so demon Ms. time. So, Ms. White, Ms. White, so he just wants to come clean about the tattoo that's, that's tattooed on his forehead. So this is gonna be a lifelong <laughs> full of surprises I can for get you it covered up. If you marry Mr. Brown. Right. It's so it's gonna be surprise after surprise. They the hit's just gonna keep coming. So the choice is yours. You can't blame a clown for being a clown. Ask yourself why you keep going to the circus. Good mm. luck to both of you. I feel that the verdict was real. It was harsh. She didn't sugarcoat anything, and I respect it. I might need to move on and focus on self. I'm not willing to tolerate any of it. The tattoos, the, this new confession, it was beyond me. I'm angry and embarrassed. China's, she's not going anywhere. Don't let the camera and the show fool you. She's not leaving me. I got her. She in love with me. I'm in love with her. She know I know what, what home is. She know I know what her heart is, and that's what it is. I'm going to continue to do what I do until we get married, and then we'll take it from there. It's over. Okay.